Hi. Hi, friend. He's like, what are you doing? Put me down. Here's a horseshoe crab, a creature that's been around for 400 million years. And here's Rachel, the scientist who's trying to figure out a way to raise them. If you can see that hole that's oh opening up there, that's their mouth, and it's surrounded by these toothbrush-like bristles. And they don't have teeth, so what they do is they grab onto the food, they walk with it, they grind that food, and they ingest it. It's like a little, yeah, that's right. a little uh, eating orifice there. <laughs> <laughs> so this is CARE. It's a backyard urban aquaponic farm in the heart of Durham, North Carolina. Can you explain how horseshoe crabs and urban farming come together? It's a kind of a perfect animal to integrate into the system because it could potentially be a high profit margin animal, as well as an animal that we should be thinking about conserving. Horseshoe crabs are big money to the biomedical industry. Every time you get a flu shot, you should probably thank a horseshoe crab. Basically, any medical device or drug that goes into your body think vaccines, pacemakers, hip replacements, has been tested using the blood of horseshoe crabs. Yes, that's horseshoe crab blood. The copper in their blood gives it that bright blue color, but that isn't the only thing that's special about it. Horseshoe crab blood clots almost immediately when it's exposed to dangerous bacteria or fungi. It's part of the reason horseshoe crabs have outlasted the dinosaurs. But it's also the reason the biomedical industry depends on horseshoe crabs to make sure their products won't cause infections. Fishing participants will go out, collect the crabs, and put them in a boat. They'll transport it in a truck back to the facility, and they will then bend the crab in such a way that you have access to that membrane to do the bleeding. A horseshoe crab maybe that's twice the size of this one to the industry is worth about $1,800. And once they don't even get a cookie or orange juice after they give blood like we do. So, you know, what happens to these creatures once they're released back in the wild, nobody knows. They're not tagged. You become so attached to these animals. It, I don't know what it is, but how can you become attached to a creature that looks like that? <laughs> I don't know. You just have a these. soft heart. Bleeding horseshoe crabs doesn't kill them, and companies only take 30% of the crab's blood. In exchange, millions of lives are saved from diseases like sepsis. But according to research from Kepley Biosystems, in some areas of the U.S., the combination of bleeding, over-harvesting, and habitat destruction has caused a 95% decline of spawning horseshoe crabs. So horseshoe crabs are stressed out. They are really stressed out. We want to offer a new way to collect horseshoe crabs. Why you're not pulling them from the wild, but you are actually maintaining them in a managed closed system a trackable one, so we know which horseshoe crab was being bled. Rachel says it's difficult to keep horseshoe crabs alive longer than six months, and she thinks it's because of their diet. So she and her team from Kepley Biosystems are experimenting with different types of food. So yeah, they're receiving a, a very well-balanced diet to keep them healthy and happy. The team's goal is to teach farmers how to raise horseshoe crabs. So instead of pulling crabs out of the wild, the biomedical industry can rely on farmers instead. Is it lunchtime? <laughs> Tails wagging, he's happy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what that means? We can potentially set up contract farming to integrate them into their farming system because God knows farmers need to have more profitable revenue. You want some? You hungry? Hmm? Just okay, kind of flip him over that them. way, hold him from that side so he doesn't, the hinge doesn't basically pinch you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But for now, we expressed our gratitude to the humble horseshoe crab by giving him some treats. Yes, it's like it literally is the Sarak <laughs> pig from Star Wars. <laughs> he likes the worms. Okay, buddy. Ciao. 